There we go. The nymph worked. I was just slowly bringing it back. The wind has dropped off a little bit, which means it's better conditions for nymphing because the trick with nymphing is to stay in touch with your flies all the time. And if it's too windy, then you get too much slack line on the water. So just a gentle breeze is perfect. Bad fish. I actually think I might have had two fish on there. I felt a couple of taps. Oh. And I reckon that I've had two fish on and I thought one of them uh, one of them grabbed first and then all of a sudden this one I think and that's the only problem with using multiple flies is you end up in a tangle unless the fish eats the point fly so he's got that barbless hook right in the corner of the mouth so that barbless hook comes out and there's another beautiful fish. Very good condition. Nice and fat. Obviously eating a lot of food down there. Even although they would taste very nice, we're going to put them back. Catch them another day. I know. Guys, now look at this. No, look at this. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I don't mind undoing a tangle if I've caught a fish. I don't like undoing tangles when I'm casting badly, though. Only when I catch a fish, then it's okay. Don't mind. Calmed off enough now that I can just figure of eight. And if I figure of eight like this, I can just move my flies a little bit. If the boat was drifting faster than this, then I'd have to be pulling my flies. But you're in much better control when you're figure of eighting your flies back except that sometimes you can get a tangle. And you drop your line, hopefully it all stays separate. Got another one. And he's jumping a lot too, this one. Not sure how big this one is, I don't think he's that big. That's the difference between difference between when you're sight casting like we were this morning and you can pick the big fish out and now when We've lost the sun, there's no more sunshine, so I can't Polaroid them, which means you're just casting out and you'll catch anything that's in front of you. So I'm not going to complain because it's still a beautiful fish. And if I was ever going to eat a fish, that this would be the one because these smaller ones taste fantastic, but I'm not going to be eating any of them. So they're all going back. He's got that nymph in the side of his mouth. There he is again, a very nice fish. And you can see this one here is 
turning into one of those blue coloured ones with a creamy belly, all black spots, no red spots and a slightly greeny grey back on the top. So I'm going to throw him straight back in and off he goes. Ah. Another trout. Well, they're coming thick and fast now. Never get tired of this though, never get bored of catching fish like that, fantastic. Ah, oh, that was good, first cast. That is a much better fish. came up and maybe he's just putting up a good fight. He doesn't look that big but he, he hit like a big fish on the top dropper near the surface. So this fish was still looking for mayflies up on the surface, the dry flies, because that was my top fly. And I said that the top fly is right near the surface, near the floating line, and the point fly is down deep. So this fish was feeding very high in the water. And it also means that he's giving me another tangle to untie. So that's gonna slow things up for me. Oh, hey, look at that. Look at that knot. Deary me, what's it doing to me? And there's the fly. Come out, out it comes. There's the fish. Another beautiful fat, fat fish, like a little torpedo. Brilliant, like an Atlantic salmon. He's got that shape to it. Just a lovely fish again. Very good condition, and he'll go back. And there's my knot. I now have to untangle. Got him. Good jump. Ooh, and again. Well, that one was on the lift, which is good. We're just about to leave and go and have a look at another lake. And just thought we might be able to get one more fish quickly. And that one, I was slowly lifting the line up off the bottom. And that fish is taking taking the point fly is the one on the very end which is the heavy one with the little bead head on it not a particularly big fish but again very healthy so we'll stick him back another healthy looking trout that deserves to fight for another day
Here we go. Boys. Ah, he's fine. He's fine. I love it when they're okay. I think that's a pretty good way to end. Conditions have been tough here at Woods Lake today. It was a lot brighter than we wanted early on. And uh, if it was going to be bright, we wanted the wind from the other direction. Nothing's ever right for fly fishermen. We can always think of a good excuse. There usually is a good excuse. But under the circumstances of the weather, I think we had some pretty reasonable fishing today.